Space Command is pretty bad. Like, really bad. It should have been called Space Cliché. So if you're not aware, uh, there's a channel called Mr. Sci-Fi that's run by fellow lame Mark Zickry. I discovered him maybe a little over a year ago because of uh, reviews for Star Trek Discovery, and he also does Star Trek Picard reviews. And I, 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 I like listening to his perspective. He's an actual bona fide television sci-fi writer who has even worked on Star Trek way in the past. So his perspective carries a lot more weight than, say, the Dave Cullens of the world, who, you know, it's, it's all well and good to, as Captain Sheridan from Babylon 5 would say, to armchair quarterback things, but, you know, if you haven't actually had your feet in the fire, it's, it, you can't really opinionate the same. So this Mark Zickry fellow has had some good insights. He's, he's not entirely, like, just constantly dogging on the shows. But at the same time, he does, you know, have things to say about them that are negative. But anyway, while all this is going on, at the end of a lot of his videos, you know, he's been mentioning that he's been working on the pilot for a show called Space Command. And it's actually got a decent amount of uh, interesting cameo stars from a lot of classic sci-fi shows like Bill Mummy and Robert Picardo here on the screen and so on. And The special effects aren't the best, but as a Babylon 5 fan, obviously, I'm cool with, with, with low-budget special effects as long as the story's good and you, you, it still is able to stimulate your imagination. But this show is just bad. It, it, the writing and the acting from, like, the regular performers is... Like, I'm, I'm like, jaw-dropped after watching a couple episodes. I was really expecting a hell of a lot more from this. Um, it kind of makes me rethink, like, a lot of the ideas that some people float out there that the newer Star Treks would be better if we could just get Rick Berman back and some of the old writers. I, I think that they've run out of ideas, and I think that their storytelling techniques and the kind of stories they want to tell just are out of step. The Space Command web series, because he took the pilot that they filmed and he's chopped it up into little smaller episodes and he's releasing them one at a time as like a little 10 minute episode web series. I feel like I'm watching cutscenes from Wing Commander, you know, the games in the, in the 90s on PC where, you know, in, in between missions of shooting down Kazinti raiders and whatnot, uh, you know, you'd get some, some low quality, low res footage of a couple of B actors you know, talking, you know, by like, here's, here's what your next mission is, it, it, in front of a blue screen with, with a real, obviously, CGI background. That is this show. This show is a Wing Commander cutscene, the television series. And I guess if that's your thing, maybe you'll find some enjoyment out of it. But I, I just found it really clunky, and uh, I had to force myself for the first one, and then just, for fairness sake, I went ahead and watched another one. And, uh, yeah, I hate to say it, I, I still otherwise respect the guy's channel, and uh, I, I do say that there is value to be found from his insights on Star Trek, from his prior experience. But, mmm, 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 this is not a good show. Not a good show. I'll leave a link to this episode that I got on the screen in the description box below. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe and comment on my channel, because clearly... Maybe my content isn't quite as bad as I thought it was. Yeesh.